Hello there everybody, it's Ace here, and today we're going to do the corner of the glorified vlog. Which is basically just the corner of Alec just recording some gameplay. And then I, like, you know, just edit it. Add in the avatar and call it a day. Because I'm confused about a few things. If you could not tell. Basically, um, so if you couldn't tell, then, um, the collab that I did with Awesomeness45, who recently linked the collab that we did, has been copyright claimed. Now please keep in mind, copyright claimed, not striked. So, she, so, they basically just kind of, like, made it so that way it plays ads, which is just, just, I don't, I don't get it. Basically, just kind of like the equivalent of, ah, yeah, I, so, y you used our material, but we're not going to sue you for it. Instead, we're just going to, like, kind of make you play an ad in your video. And I don't know exactly what that has to gain. Well, I know what it has to gain. They're basically just kind of like using the collab so that way they can advertise the music, I guess. And you can tell that I'm doing this unscripted. <laughs> Just via the fact of my voice is constantly wavering, I constantly use the word stinking. Let's go ahead and talk about the lack of script. Also, I'm a... I was... Like, I tried to write a script for the collab. But neither just, like, stuff happened. He got his lines done, I didn't want to, like, you know... Though, yeah, do this script. Because I say so. Because this is my first collab. This is the first collab of the channel. And I don't want um him to instantly hate me. Well, the channel. Because once again, I would pre-record gameplay. And I'm commentating over it. Because commentating in massive air quotes... But in the end, though, so, um, uh, we were, I was planning on, like, trying to make a little intro skit. But then they're just, like, I'm, um, uh, stuff changed. Also, it was originally supposed to be on, like, my first, first commentary, which is, Bad. I'm thinking that I might, um, go ahead and try to do that, try to hit that by myself, actually. Um, so, also, another thing. Um, if you have seen my first, like, seven commentaries, then God bless your soul. God bless you, soul. Because they were all seven awful. Like, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I can indeed go back to, like, the last commentary that I did the screen recorder thing with. But I also thank love for Awesomeness45 for just flat out Pointing me towards some better recording equipment. I say that I'm basically doing the corner of commentating over, like, static recorded gameplay footage that my partner recorded because of reasoning. Once again, glorified B log. 
So yeah, basically what the claim does is it just makes it so that way ads play. Which is fine, it's absolutely fine. It's better than a copyright claim. It's better than a copyright copyright strike. Once again you can thinking here that I'm doing this unscripted. You like you know me were constantly repeating words. I don't know why for some reason I have myself like this odd pain in my the side of my lip. Not a pain, like something. It's something. And it it just feels off. So I'm uh I'm thinking that we might need to record. I'm thinking that we might need to edit that out <laughs> because it's just, dear God. Once again, glorified vlog, everybody. <laughs> Third time that I've said that. You know, the thing that the comment tech community likes to use a lot, and that is pointing out your flaws don't make them better. I'm thinking that. That might be best stated here. And also, we're basically just kind of like testing our boundaries. So, in other words, then, um, basically just kind of like testing our boundaries because the channel has been kind of verified. The channel has been verified, and I want to find out if it's actually been verified via. You know, posting a video that's about, I don't know, 16 minutes long, I think. Dear God, that mouth so weird, but whatever. Professionalism. Flim them say, the most professional channel. Oh, even nihilistic snake is cringing. It's just fan freaking tastic for us. By the way, also I'm uh I'm pretty sure that you guys know this already, but um I'm thinking the commentary that we posted before the collab that I posted before the collab was um from was on material from Nihilistic Snakes channel. And it just kind of feel, it just kind of felt jumbled. For lack of a better word. Like a lot of points were just completely and utterly unrelated to one topic, but later in the video, just, um, another topic showed up and like that exact same topic that they were talking about beforehand shows up and overall it was just kind of odd and off-putting which is just just great it's fantastic so what is the thick one of like a live stream well technically it was live no, this isn't live. Just thinking if there was lo if it was live, then we would probably have ourselves like a chat or something. I'm thinking that like nihilistic snake is trying to get his reputation up because a lot of his videos I could not exactly find that many problems with, aside from the just a robot commentary which he posted. Because once again, spite. It's basically just kind of like the equivalent of... Um, alright, so I'm going to make this commentary, but... I'm going to make this commentary out of spite. And it's going to be great. Even though that... Usually, when you have yourself like a spiteful, 
when you come into the video spiteful, you aren't exactly going to point out that many flaws. You're just going to kind of like... Here's the thing that you never want to do when it comes to a commentary. You never ever want to come into a commentary spiteful. Because if you come into a commentary spiteful, then you are usually just flat out going to um, most of the time you're going to end up not exactly you're just going to end up nitpicking more than having actual points. Like, for instance, oh yeah, this guy's avatar is the color blue. And then just like... Thinking, complain about that for about, I don't know, two hours. And then call it a day. But, either way... Um, I'm not sure that showed that off, but... And then they're just like, the screen started flipping. Like, mid-footage. I'm not sure if it's going to show that off. But, in the end, though, if it does, then that would be... I don't know what to call it. Awkward. But also, I'm, uh, for some reason... Outside name is the fox that he got in game Pyro Cynical. I know, man. At this point, I'm just slowly beginning to want to have ideas on what to talk about, so I'm just kind of talking about random crap. Also, I got a diamond because diamonds. Oh yeah, so it so it did show it off. It didn't show it off like entirely, but you know, it did indeed show it off. Which is just, just great when it comes to professionalism. And <laughs> I'm just pulling random crap out of my behind to talk about. Also, um, mm, God, the one commentary that, well, actually, I regret also in my first commentary, but one of the commentaries that I really regret was, um, uh, like, Sheen S, the commentary on Sheen S, because basically, I kind of did what Nihilus Snake did with Just a Robot. I came into it, like, filled with spite, because I do indeed still take a lot of pride behind my work. Granted, though it was indeed screen captured, but in the end, though, I do indeed still take pride behind my work. Yeah, I do indeed still take pride behind the work that I do. And also, I'm, a. Uh, actually, I was planning on doing some sort of a dramatic reading of Sonic.exe, but we decided against it because Sonic.exe is stupid. Like, I'm pretty sure that if you look way far back, then you can actually see Alec reading Sonic.exe. It's a freaking awful story. And it's just kind of just like it's filled with cliche plot holes and stuff that, and you know that it's written by an adult. Because if it was written by a child, then they should probably go see a therapist. And once again, if you look back. Then, we also did a 
commentary on Sonic.exe 2 Electric Boogaloo, which was on the Troll Pasta Wiki. Which is... Just, just... Fantastic. No, it isn't. <laughs> Once again, it kind of has itself the exact same problems with the original story, but more repetitious, more, um, it was basically the corner of more repetitious, um, more, um, how do I put it? Um, basically has itself a lot of cliches, it's very cliched, really driven by the protagonist's stupidity, which is odd because the protagonist in Sonic.exe is a, Sonic.exe 2 is a detective, which is weird, to say the very least. But in either way, um, I'm not exactly sure how exactly to end this off. Because it's basically just been me talking about when garbage. <laughs> so much. if you want to see some commentaries that are not just me rambling, then go ahead. Once again, recently... Awesomeness45, and I did a collab, and said collab was meh, so go check out Awesomeness45. Go check out Awesomeness45's channel, it's, he has a lot better commentary than I do. So without further, so I'll see you guys in